A hand wave to our regular introductions. Welcome to a new series I call Quicken the Silence. Sadly, you're out of range of my message spell, and I have no <laughs> idea where you are. This shall be content of a shorter duration that shall not replace the Quiet Palace podcast at large, but supplement a new pattern of content creation I'm going to test out alongside our signature concept. Today we'll be looking into how well the Alchemist Artificer's specialization melds with ideal multi-class compositions. The Alchemist Artificer is adept at making potions and gets proficiency with Alchemist supplies. These potions can benefit your party or yourself in various ways. Move faster, hit harder, fly, among other options. Healing spells or potions themselves can be made and are quite potent in the hands of an experienced Alchemist. Choosing Life Domain Cleric for super healing can be an excellent idea, though a good way to build this multi-class might be more levels in Cleric, relying on your potions as after-battle reparations to save your spell slots. Maybe you don't have to take Prayer of Healing after all. Maybe take it anyways, I don't know, do you? How functional is this build, you ask? Well, I don't have the exact math or simulations, but on paper it seems powerful enough to be a decent combatant with a focus of healing and support. Some mechanics that can help in and out of combat, a great degree, are most certainly apparent. Garl Glittergold would be proud. Another good example would be Rogue. Now, you could go Arcane Trickster for the Roguish Archetype, though your spell slots will be reduced to a quarter of uh, your levels in Rogue, and not to mention your Artificer is a hybrid spellcasting class. Your Artificer spell slots are reduced to half your level, so foreseeably your mana capacity is going to be lacking. Spells known, on the other hand, will be a little more diverse, so if rituals are more your cup of tea with a smidge of damage for other options, this might be the build for you. If I'm being critical here, it doesn't sound terribly effective. Your abilities outside of spellcasting will be pretty decent, and your utility is going to be more apparent than other multi-class combos. Though the elixirs you can make as an artificer alongside your infusions can really enhance your rogue's capabilities. With an Assassin or even Inquisitor Rogue archetype, this build could see the light of day as an often overlooked multi-class concept. I will let you know if I happen to test that out. We shall see how that particular tool belt does in the field of battle. Someday. The most suitable concept, of course, would be Wizard. While your alchemical concoctions boost your party or yourself, and your infusions enhance your abilities as a spellcaster, the unreal roster of magical spells rivals every other class combo around it, having access to a vast majority of what's out there. If you choose to be an abjuration wizard, your shielding and protection magic reduces damage while you zap your enemies from a distance. So the barbarian is hopped up on one of your concoctions, you can concentrate on a spell, and one of your infusions can help you if you get hit should you choose the mind sharpener infusion. These two formats form together to enhance your party and yourself with magic and abilities that persist on their own. This adds a great deal of versatility with the ability to enhance certain shortcomings or greatly sharpen your advantages, all while protecting your party from a distance. You're a team player and an expert missile caster. I really don't see a lot of downsides here. With some questionable examples and at least one exceptional one, you might find that the Alchemist Artificer has a lot to offer as a vast majority of multi-class builds and party compositions while we're at it. A lot of different party compositions would probably appreciate such an entity. If there are clear weaknesses you want to help clean up, this is an incredible way forward in regards to building a real team player. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of this series. We'll be back next time with another Will It Multi-Class discussion. For now, however, as per the name of the series, my time for silence has come. And if the sky is grey, but the breeze is gentle, the quiet palace shall be nearby. <laughs>